this is Big Brother. Your nominations help decide who does and does not win. More than ever, every point counts. It's time to nominate. It's his way or the highway sort of thing, like he can be quite hypocritical at times also. I find he's rude and he sort of doesn't practice what he preaches. She has been a complete cow towards me and um, I don't like it. She's hypocritical and she's got double standards. I've just seen a really fake side to her. I see that kind of as a form of lying and it's a personality trait that I don't want to have to live with in the house. I don't really like the way he speaks to me. I find him to be self-righteous and condescending. tonight hello and welcome to monday night live nominations number 12 our second last nominations for 2006 and despite the fact we have two new housemates everyone can nominate and everyone can be nominated tonight we have no idea yet where our new housemates chris and max will aim their nomination cannons but there's a strong chance they'll be spending the next hour copping other housemates' cannonballs. It's all very intriguing. And joining us to assist with the nominations will be last night's evictee, Daring Darren. Yes, it is all happening tonight. Plus, don't forget, for the very first time, Jamie holds the power of the three-point twist. But even before the nominations begin, let's take a look back at a fiery week in the house. The fuse was lit when Darren and David did the group shopping and came back to face some very dissatisfied customers. You didn't get tea? No. Okay. The one thing that I desperately wanted. You got wine and I didn't... What did I get? No. Nothing. I'm sure you didn't do it on purpose. I know no. I but... Sometimes I wonder. Yeah, Camilla, so you know, you, you actually had the highest budget spent on you. You don't need to point that stuff out. And the more you make like someone like myself feel guilty for saying I want a bottle of wine, the less pleasurable the whole exercise is. Yeah, that's right, Camilla. Yep, that's right, Dave. Funny how you're allowed to say whatever you want, but if anybody else does, you crack it. They're on a diet, they don't want to eat. So why are they winning about not getting food when they don't want to eat? Two new housemates came in to rock the boat. Uh oh. Maybe I need a it's in a scroll. It's a different person. What the? Hey. It's Max. I'm the housemate. No one told you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it doing your head in yet? Just slightly. I'm kind of glad that there's more people coming in. I'm not. Because I thought I was special in the last one. I bought Perry a present. This was for her. Give it to Camilla. Darren, thanks for your um, input on that. Not that you've known me for more than three weeks, Biatch. Get over it, you know it's true. Shopper chef David resented Claire's choice of first mate. Can't believe the captain would have chosen a new person for first mate. While first mate Chris focused his attentions on Camilla. Camilla's awesome. I love that girl. She's really? so like someone, one of my friends, like not one of my friends, but the kind of person that I'm friends with outside. Like you love them for 90% of the time, and if for 10% of the time you just want to belt the crap out, like you hate them. Yeah. So where did I come on your list of people to get to know? Did I rate highly? Yeah, it was high. <laughs> Important. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, she didn't realise the attention. Yeah. No. yeah. I don't know. She oh, definitely. Yeah. She's just got so much energy. She's just changed and stuff. She's got a mojo back. 
Captain Claire ruled with an iron fist. Captain Claire! Can I please go with Camilla so that I can go to bed soon? Um... Say no. No, you're not really supposed to ask me. Oh, OK. There's <laughs> denial. <laughs> that is so cruel. <laughs> Crystal felt the sting of cabin fever. I'm frustrating myself. I'm feeling claustrophobic and... <laughs> I just, I just wish I could just go for a walk or something just to clear my head, but you can't do that in here. It's good that you can express your feelings. It's just it's annoying when nothing's back. within your control. Yeah. Jamie summarised his thoughts on the new housemates. I'm not liking it in the moment. I wanted it to be like a little family. Mm. And it, just as it was getting to that, it's, it's, it's happening again. Yeah and Darren was evicted from the house. It's time to go, Darren! No, sit down, Annie. They took you for so long. Remember, it's the boy! Well, Darren will be here vibing with us live on stage very shortly, but right now, let's cross to the house to have a pre-nomination conversation. Invite her. Invite her. That can be your thing. You can say, I'm Trouble Chef and we've got lots of food. Come on. I don't want to get really We've got our very own iPad. Hello, house. Well, what about you two girls, Camilla and Crystal? Shopping. Shopping. The shopping is more on. you invite you out to dinner. We just weren't going to ask because we've got food for once. But I thought you girls forgot. Last week you had such a fuss about the sewing kit and health food, and this week you forgot the sewing kit and you bought chocolate. So we just grabbed every bit of alcohol from the fridge and went, that can be it. But I understand it wasn't very much, which is a good thing, because no, you no, guys have to stay not. focused. Time, only a little bit. Oh, you've had a rough time. Half of you were up for nomination last night, and now you've got nominations again. Yeah. Claire, of course, you were announced as the bride-to-be for Darren, the perfect woman. <laughs> What an Wayne honour! Cradle. The perfect woman. You will, of yes. course, be the role model for women across the country <laughs> now. I'd like to think so. Well, we're all going to want to help orangutans in Borneo. Is that yes, what it is? <laughs> all right. Isn't it strange that the perfect woman wants to be a long way from men? But anyway, <laughs> that's OK. Tell and me Dave, something. <laughs> Dave, you had a, a tough time. That was a nice message that, that you got from Darren, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, Isn't nice that top great? Like. Yeah. Just a nice, sentimental message. <laughs> and Jamie, the master of the three-point twist, you know that's yeah. a double-edged sword. I do know that. It sounds more like some sort of dance move, though, the three-point <laughs> twist. <laughs> well, you can deliver it any way you want. Yeah, I've been thinking about my moves since Friday, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, and of course, our two new housemates, this is the first night you can nominate and be nominated. You OK? Yeah, it's going to be fine. You know, Big Brother can be pretty scary. Yeah. You've got to get it right. Good luck. Thank you, Gretel. Thank you. Good luck to all of you. See you Bye. later. Bye. That's funny. Oh. oh. Live nominations for the double edition. Did you read that? Oh, well, she yes. did say. Okay, well, there are a couple of nervous nominators there. I think the new housemates looked a little nervous myself. But of course, the housemates don't know for sure that this is their second last nomination night because they don't know how far away the finale is. Because of this, they may not know how all important tonight's nominations are. And the question is, should they vote strategically to inhibit their competitors or vote foolishly and go for the soft target new housemates? Let's cross back to the house now for Big Brother's first nomination announcement of the night. It's so good. It's, it's Big Brother. Housemates, listen carefully. It is time to nominate Max, Chris. Big Brother. You entered the Big Brother house not as intruders, but as housemates. Therefore, there will be no grace period. Tonight, you can nominate and be nominated. Housemates, when you nominate, you must explain each nomination. If you nominate based on personality, you must explain honestly what it is you don't like about that housemate. If you vote under the radar, you must explain why and how you think they are deliberately avoiding attention and how this affects you. If you vote strategically, you must explain 